What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sir Love, from Phase 6. Here's another snippet from Chasing Greatness. Because, I mean, there are some scenarios where you can probably catch someone's attention in the moment. But typically, and I wrote about it in, in, the, in the book that I did about management on the website. I wrote about this process. It's typically... Okay. It's typically, and, I, and in, in the book, I don't remember word for word how I positioned it, but in the book, I broke down how a conversation, I literally scripted a conversation, right? And there's a okay. technique to talking to people in the industry, right? And a lot of it is, is some of it's jargon, some of it is who you know, a large about a piece of it is who you know. It's like, hey man, how you doing? Yo, yo, yo sir love, man, I, I saw you with the such and such and such. I was talking to your man, doing the doing the doing. He was telling me that you was doing blah, blah, blah. Like it's a, it's a certain energy. Like I have to validate myself before they engage. And the names that I drop will be names that are not public names. They're not people that are written about in the press. They're not people that are super popping. Or maybe they are written about in the press, but it's not the type of articles that everybody watches, right? Um, or scoping, right? So when they hear me say these names, they know, oh shit, if you know this person, you in the game. Therefore, I must respect you. Because this is a game where it's small, everyone knows everyone, but people are always coming and going. Positions are always changing. So no one wants to rub no one the wrong way. So if you know these people, you might be someone that I need to know. Therefore, I'm about to respect whatever you're getting ready to say next, right? But I'm going to check you on, on what you just said. So if you tell me you know so-and-so and so-and-so, you can't know that person without also knowing this person. So I might check you back and go, oh, yeah, so also yeah, so you was kicking it with do 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 And if I don't know who do 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 is, then I'm bullshitting. Right, yeah. <laughs> and I just fucked up the relationship out the gate. Right, so there's there's all sorts of different, you know, tricks of the trade. But as you start developing a relationship, you can use that person's name in the relationship to garner another relationship that allows you to navigate the next situation. Mm. Okay, yeah. Okay. Makes well, sense. Well, I guess I never thought of it like that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So let me ask you this. So, so what I'm getting so far is, is consistency. That's definitely a key. Yeah. But what, um, as an artist, right? And I mean, and I'm not saying you speaking from the perspective of an artist, but I mean, coming from someone who deals with artists, how, what are some ways that you... Oh, shit. Damn, I done hit the wrong button, hung up on dude. Damn. <laughs> let me, let me call him back. Let me call him back. Uh... Let me call it back. I don't know what just happened. Dialing from a computer is mad different. Let's bring him back on. Hey, man. Yeah, that was me, man. You heard me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. That was me. But go ahead and fi finish it up. I'm trying to call a couple people tonight, though, so it's probably going to be the last one, though. No offense. I just want to make sure I can chat with as many oh, people as possible. Mom. Yeah, yeah. But so, I just want to recap on what you just said so that I can make sure I internalize it so that so the consistent added value. Um so but the question that I had was um when when you're dealing with an artist, how exactly what are some ways where you think an artist can actually provide value other than being authentically themselves? Because in my opinion, I think um I think it's easy to be yourself. When you're being real with yourself, but when it comes to getting into a business relationship with someone, they may not be looking for somebody to just be themselves. They may need something specific. Yeah. Do you have any thought on that? Services. Like, what is your service? What is, like you said, adding value. You already answered your question. I think you're just trying to understand what are examples of ways to add value, right? So, adding value could be I have a business and you spend money with my business right adding value could mean you're you know how to cut hair and you cut my hair for free all the time adding value could be you're a specialist in social media you've been helping some of my artists with social media adding value could be I need someone to get on the ground and, and, and go out here and hand out these flyers and whatever whatever adding value could be like that other thing I mentioned hey man I need to know who got the best butt in the city do you know who it is can you get them up here adding value Value could be, hey man, we're going to the club tonight and this ain't our city, this your city. We need about 10 beautiful women to be in the VIP with, with us. Can you make that happen? Can you can you get 10 beautiful women here in two hours, right? Adding value could be, 
um, you know, all sorts of things. It's like, what is it that's you? What is it that's you that regular everyday people like about you? Like, are you adding value could be comedic relief. Like you're just the funniest dude around. Everyone just likes rocking with you because you're hilarious. You know, adding value could be honesty. Like, yo, this dude always is a straight shooter. Like, sometimes he be saying some shit to make us not fuck with him, but we know if we ask him, we're going to get the real. Some dudes may hate that. Others may really appreciate that. You know, adding value could be your business intellect, your knowledge going into the situation, how you can help the situation. Your value could be, you know, the list goes on. I don't know what your talents are, but you have talents. You have things that make everyday people like you. You have things that make business people like you. And whatever these things are, you want to figure out how to, how to, bring them together and package it in such a way that you can add value to the next person. And it's also about figuring out where you fit because your value may not be something that I need. If your value is, hey, I can help you with social media, that's that's dope. But my, my wife is a social media specialist. Like, my social media is on hiatus because I chose for it to be on hiatus, right? So, like, that may not add value for me, right? Um, but for the next person, that might add extreme amounts of value, Right. So it's, it's, it's about also okay. figuring out where you fit. So as a person that also worked in sales, and I, I'm talking about this a lot on the podcast this year, that I don't just do entertainment. I'm also very heavy in tech and I do stuff in real estate and all sorts of shit. So um, but in tech, you know, I didn't I didn't sell shit for Google and IBM and all these other different types of people before. Right. And the energy was was always let me listen. Let me ask really good questions. Let me listen and learn about what's important to you and then connect the the value that I can add to what's important to you versus telling you what I can do and how I can do all these things, it may not hit. I want to know your pain points. I want to know what you're struggling with. I think a good relationship is going to start with more questions than than you pitching you. It's going to be more questions. Uh, and especially if you're talking to someone that's established, they people that are established love to teach. And when and they love to hear people, you know, they love for people to listen to them, right? Or they're in a position where they feel like, I don't know you, I don't want to teach you nothing, I don't want to give you no games, one or the other. But you got to kind of got to figure out that balance. So at the end of the day, it's what value can you add? How can you be authentically yourself doing it? Combine all the things that I said and then go out there and do it. And then be consistent. It, it, it's a part of it. Consistent, consistent, consistent. It's all it, 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 it all goes together. And then, of course, obviously work on your craft, because when you finally do all this other political BS required for you to get in the space you want to be in. And it's really not BS because all the friends you meet along the way are the friends that's going to help you sustain yourself. Like you don't want to just get signed and don't have no support. Right. The label ain't going to put no money behind. They're going to put money, but they're going to put a lot of resources behind you. So all these people you're building relationships with are going to be the people that you call when you get your budget and you need to move your project. And you don't know how. Like, how the fuck do you get on Jimmy Kimmel? You don't know how to get on Jimmy Kimmel. But if you had made a friend along the way that knows how to put you on Jimmy Kimmel, the label is not going to put you on Jimmy Kimmel until you sell X amount of records. Well, X amount of records until you get X amount of spins. Right. Plays. Right. Yeah. X amount of plays is going to equal this next opportunity from the label where they'll consider you a little bit more. But what if you need that boost beforehand? What's the relationship that you had in the process that can give you that? Those are the, those are those relationships. Oh. So it all it all goes together. Okay. Yeah. So through so be through being authentically myself, I have to assess each relationship to see what value I can provide if I can provide anything. Correct. And if you're a person that can't provide a lot of value, then you need to work on yourself. Mm. Hey, sir, love, man. I appreciate you. My name is Lodge AD. I don't smoke cigarettes. Um, I appreciate you for your time, man. Thank you. Hey, yeah, no problem, brother. I, pre I appreciate you for picking up the phone and, and being on here. Now, I see you. You put your phone number in, but you didn't put your name in. So that means when I blast out opportunities, you ain't never going to know about them. So make sure you... uh. Log, log your name in the system. I really don't blast out things much. I think I've probably only sent out like five blasts since this. But uh, like I was working on a movie in the past. I sent out a blast to help everyone get on the movie. Um, I'm involved with a lot of television show placements and stuff like that now. So I'm, I plan on sending blasts out about that. Like I want to help everybody. So like you got to you gotta log in and get, you know, put your information in so that you can get that type of, you know, that type of response. But other than that, dog, I appreciate your energy, man. If you need anything, shoot me a text. It may take me forever to get back to you, but I'm going to try, right? No problem, man. Thank you. Thank you. This was enough. <laughs> All I right, appreciate it, man. I'm going to pull over. All right. Take care, man. Later. Yeah. Later. All right. That was dope. First one. That was dope. 
All right, let's talk to a couple other people. So I think it was, I think his situation was was dope. I think the questions that he asked was dope. I think that the way he's 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 trying to think about the game is dope. I think that, that kid right there, the the types of questions that he's asking, those are the right questions. Those are the questions that are going to lead him to some type of success if he can stay consistent with this. Um, so I don't know him very well. You know, maybe he'll take some of my advice and I'll, I'll see him being consistent and uh, and his name will pop out. Like there's some people right now. You know, going back to what he just said, there's some people right now. In my in my email box, and I every time they send me something, I look at it, right? And they they found me on YouTube, and they just consistent. There's thousands of people that have found me on YouTube, but there's only probably about six people that I pay attention to. Those people are working harder than everybody else. I don't know everything. But I know a lot about a little and a little bit about a lot. And I'm trying to give you guys everything that I got right here on Phase 6. Check us out at www.phasevi.com. Again, that's www.phasevi.com. Beam in.